Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In today's video, I've got a tip for you in On One Photo Raw about selecting colors and using that for color grading. This came from a question uh, that sent to me by Jeff, and it was an interesting one. Yeah, he's got this scenario where he likes the particular colors in, let's say, photo A, wants to select colors from photo A and apply them in a color grading fashion to photo B. And you know, how can I go do that in photo raw? You know, so let's take a look here. You know, you're scrolling through an album or a folder of photos and you say, okay, I've got this photo here and I would like to give it some type of different color grading. And I like say the tones I see in this photo, you know, how can I, without having to go back and forth between edit, uh, to uh, to sample the colors from this photo and apply those in a color grading scheme on the other photo. And you know the, the the challenge being well we can't open both photos as like individual photos in edit. We could open them both as layers, but uh, what you're left there is when you're doing a color picker in the um, in the tools, you can only select a color from the layer that you're active on, even if that layer is invisible or part of it's masked. And uh, you, know, you, you kind of left with this dance of having to go to one photo, kind of either remember or write down you know, RGB values or so forth, uh, but did find a way to do this um, you know, with, uh, with a little bit of extra work, but it's not too bad. I want to show you the, uh, the technique. So again, I'll, I'll use this example of, you know, this is the photo here of this, you know, this gate that I want to add some color grading to, and I want to use colors that I like and see in another photo. But the very first thing I want to do is go up into the window menu and turn on dual mode. Now dual mode is really made for dual monitors, but it just has two windows available to you. And so, you know, this is going to be workable. And the other thing I'll do here is just click this bigger window and I'll just resize this so we can see both windows. And as I select a particular photo in browse and the grid is showing you the big version over on what would kind of be like a second monitor. Well, here's the photo I want to do some work on. So I'm going to bring this photo into edit. And something interesting happens, right? The, the secondary window changed to the grid view. And that's what happens, right? That's the design of dual mode. When you're looking at one photo large in edit, you see everything else in that folder or album in the secondary display or secondary window. As thumbnails. Now these are available on the screen in front of me, so I have access to them with color tools. Let's say I'll go into the locals here and let's say I wanted to do a paint with color. It looks like I did some painting with color on this photo. Let's add a new adjustment. I'll do a paint with color and I wanted to select one of the tones that's out here. Now I can't use the eyedropper. The eyedropper is going to be limited to what's in the edit preview. Notice as soon as I go outside that border, I'm back to my pointer or resizing windows or so forth. So I can't use the picker that's in the tool. What I can do though is click on the color swatch. Now that brings up on Macintosh at least, this, uh, you know, like I'll, I'll call it a color tool for um, the OS. I believe Windows has something similar and part of what it also has is a color selector. So let me get back down to that photo I liked and let's choose the color selector here and let's pick um, let's pick this uh, kind of like this brighter orange pink that'll definitely be different in this other photo so i choose that notice over here that color is now in the swatch i don't need this anymore and i can start painting with color and uh let's just say i wanted to let's just go ahead and invert this i'm obviously painting with that color we'll lower it down maybe i'll add a luminosity mask raise it back up something like that where i'm starting to do some color grading just with this selection of uh, the color from another photo over there. So we're not gonna go into the color grading part of it. That's really more the, uh, the artistic side of it, what you wanna do with the photo. But this tip was about how to get access to a color from a second photo without having to bounce around too much in edit. You know, once I'm at this point here and I've got the colors that I want, maybe I'm doing a second grading here. I'll choose paint with color, click that again eyedropper and let's pick something very different like this this blue that's over here you know pow I've got that in my color swatch and again I can invert I can luminosity I can invert that luminosity mask I can do a whole bunch of stuff here you know whatever I want to do where you know sometimes um, exclusion does some interesting things for blending and anyway I've got this color I've selected it from a different photo 
I didn't have to do a bunch of uh, bouncing around in and out of edit or writing down values. So it's uh, it's it's really kind of it's a it's a workaround, but I think it's a very workable workaround. And as long as you've got your nice you know large thumbnails, can easily access your colors somewhere on your screen or on a secondary display, you'll be good to go. I hope you found this useful, Jeff. I hope this illustrates what we were talking about through email a lot better for you. And if you've got questions about photography, drop them in the comments below, send them to me through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.